Okay, this exercise is about uh, trying to establish a distance away from a light as you come over the horizon. Uh, you first see the light flashing. We call it dipping the light. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's the first time that you will actually see the light. Um, and if we look at the characteristics of the light, we've been told it is flashing in groups of 2 plus 1. It appears every 30 seconds. It's 87 meters above high water tide and can be seen from 32 nautical miles on a ship's bridge. So the most important part that we need here is this little 87 meters. Um, you could take it a bit further and you could do some tidal calculations to find a bit more accurate, but it's not that critical as um, you're probably going to see this from quite a long way off uh, any danger. Um, so we first need to take um, the square root of the height of our R. In other words, how high above the water level is our actual R. We then also take the height of the light, which we have determined as 87 meters. So we take the square root of 3 plus the square root of 87. We end up with a calculation of 11.05, which we multiply by a factor of 2.08, and we end up with a distance of 23 nautical miles. Um, this combined with the bearing taken on the light will give us our position. Uh, just a point of interest, these could be used for radio um, VHF. We could have the, the height of the aerial of your friend's boat and the height of your aerial and you could establish how far apart you are. You could probably take this factor up to three, but um, all that is going to do is going to make the distance that much further away. So um, light, sight of light, um, we're looking at that um, factor. If we were looking at a, a frequency, radio frequency, we could probably push this number up a little bit. Hope that helps. Any questions, give me a shot.